say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the You may be seated. That was beautiful. Welcome, everyone. I am Michelle Baer, Chancellor of the University of Minnesota Morris. Regent Kenyanya, faculty and staff members, University of Minnesota Morris graduates, and family and friends who have come to celebrate with us today, it is my great privilege to welcome you to the 2021 commencement ceremony the University of Minnesota's 58th graduation ceremony for our outstanding University of Minnesota Morris graduates. This event and all of the planning leading up to it would not be possible without the hard work of many members of the University of Minnesota Morris community. One of the most distinctive aspects of our university community is the enthusiasm that we share for our mission and students are at the front of everything that we are and that we do. So please thank me in joining, please join me in thanking those you see here today and the many additional community members working behind the scenes for their contributions to our commencement ceremony. And just one other little piece of business before we begin. Should it be necessary, we want to ensure that everyone can exit the building calmly and quickly. So please look around you to identify the nearest exit. If you are in the top half of the bleachers, you will likely find that exit behind you. For those of you who are on the gymnasium floor or in the lower half of the bleachers, look to your left. There are several exits clearly marked and an additional exit in front of you. Once you find yourselves in the corridor, you will see exits to your right and straight ahead from the ground floor, and then, of course, from the top as well. Graduates, congratulations to you on being here in this place at this commencement ceremony. That you are among the graduates being honored today is testament to your hard work, dedication, resilience, and persistence. These are all attributes that will serve you well once you leave, as they did while you were here at the University of Minnesota Morris. I celebrate your accomplishments, and everyone present joins me in celebrating them. Each year, our faculty and graduating seniors select a student to receive the Curtis H. Larson Award. This award was established to honor UMN Morris's first senior class speaker in 1964. Our 2021 Curtis H. Larson Award winner is Sam Rosemark. Sam's nominator noted that the first and most important thing to say 
is that Sam is a really good person, deeply good. He is a person of character and integrity. He is the kind of person you want to represent you and your organization. Sam embodies a spirit of humility, respect, kindness, and hard work. He is a scholar, a leader, and a servant. Sam has been recognized for his consistent efforts, initiative, creativity, responsibility, cooperation, and leadership to enrich our campus community. As student body president, Sam has been tireless in working to advance the interests of students and to make college more accessible, equitable, and affordable. I have had the pleasure of working with Sam for the last two years and can attest to all of these qualities. It is my pleasure to present this year's recipient of the Curtis H. Larson Award and the 2021 student commencement speaker, Sam Rosemark. Thank you, Chancellor Baer, Regent Kenyanya, Lieutenant Governor Flanagan, members of the Platform Party, family and friends, thank you all for your support and for celebrating with us today on this beautiful campus on the prairie. We extend our deepest gratitude to the great faculty and staff members we have learned and lived alongside with here. And of course, congratulations, University of Minnesota Morris, class of 2021. I'm honored to share some words on our behalf as your class speaker. The University of Minnesota Morris, this public liberal arts college, is truly a special place. After four years here, I have begun to understand what liberal arts really means. It comes from the Latin phrase, aris liberalis, liberalis free, aris art or principled practice. A liberal arts education provides the tools for free and critical thinkers. An education historically reserved for the wealthy and well-connected, Morris flips that notion, providing us one of Minnesota's most diverse set of students, LGBTQ+, straight, indigenous, black and brown, Asian and white, disabled, low income, first generation, international, rural, and urban students, with an exceptional education at a valuable price. We have become accomplished students, artists, writers, organizational leaders, mentors, athletes, and scholars, and part of a mighty community. Morris is truly a unique place. Take the range of smells. One day it's toast from the ethanol plant. The next it's, well, you know, from the cow pastures. Most of us know faculty members by their first names and saw them at club meetings or discipline gatherings. We studied abroad, we completed undergraduate research, all opportunities typically reserved for just a few. Our friendships span majors and generations, and wherever we go, we almost always find a connection to Morris that treats us like an old friend. Our class has made a lasting impact here in, transform in a transformative time. We push, for an we push for ambitious aspirations adopted in our strategic visioning and planning process, we advocated for and received better mental health resources. We, we came together to discuss, learn, and act on racial, social, and environmental justice. We helped our campus reach carbon neutrality and electricity and advance the Morris model. Thank you all who, who have contributed to these milestones. Thank you, Chancellor Baer, for emboldening us to think and work more strategically. We have brought you have brought UM Morris to a position of renewed vision and strength, and we welcome Vice Chancellor Janet Trunk Erickson as she becomes Acting Chancellor this summer. Here's to a bright future ahead. Now, class of 2021, with a bit of stress, we look ahead to what's next. What I would give back to being in the dorms, staying up late, bouncing between rooms, 
and living off of Jean the Pizza Queen's mac and cheese pizza. Or walking along the Palm de Terre, listening to the wind turbines and birds, or gathering with friends for quarter taps or trivia night. College is hard, and this year has had many added challenges. The changes, losses, and isolation of the COVID-19 pandemic, our nation's renewed reckoning around racial justice, environmental crises. As the year ends, I encourage graduates to take a break, to pause, and to reflect. Whether or not you have that nice job or graduate school lined up, things will come together. Class of 2021, we are well prepared to help shape a more sustainable and just future. Let's apply to what we have learned here to our own lives and make a difference. We have learned together on one of, if not the, nation's greenest campuses. We compost. We are part of a greater recognition of these lands history and our need for racial justice and inclusion. We engage with others around complex issues and have respectful dialogue. We are compassionate and passionate. We build consensus. We vote. These things add up. I believe we each will contribute in different ways, big and small, to be the change we want to see in our world. In closing, I, ha I leave you with a poem series from my late grandfather, blending the words of Gail Burkett, R.L. Sharp, and Frank Outlaw, with a twist from my grandpa Jim. I do not ask to walk smooth paths nor bear an easy load. I pray for strength and fortitude to climb the rock strewn road. Give me such courage that I can scale the hardest peak alone and transform every stumbling block into a stepping stone. And isn't it strange that princess and kings and clowns that caper and sawdust rings and common people like you and me are builders for eternity? Each of us given a bag of tools, a shapeless mass, a book of rules, each must make or life has flown a stumbling block or a stepping stone. So watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become character. Watch your character, for it becomes your destiny. And always remember, no guts, no glory. I believe we can triumphantly say that our UMN Morris education has equipped us, queens, kings, clowns, and common people, with courage and a great bag of tools. We have turned stumbling blocks into stepping stones. We have opened our minds and our hearts and demonstrated our collective character through thought, words, and actions. Let's embrace the next step toward our destiny today as change makers and community members creating the world we want to live in. Let's go for it, University of Minnesota Morris, class of 2021. No guts, no glory. Thank you and congratulations. During their junior year, University of Minnesota Morris students are invited to submit a list of possible commencement speakers, which is then submitted to the chancellor. I was so pleased to learn that Lieutenant Governor Penny, Peggy Flanagan rose to the top of the list and that she subsequently agreed to serve as our 2021 commencement speaker. Lieutenant Governor Flanagan is a mom, a member of the White Earth Band of Ojibwe, and Minnesota's 50th Lieutenant Governor. At the center of all of her work is advocating and making progress for children, working families, communities of color, and indigenous communities, and Minnesotans who have historically been underserved and underrepresented. Her dedication to inclusion and equity mirrors ours and that of our graduates. I am pleased to welcome Minnesota's Lieutenant Governor, Peggy Flanagan. Buju, Peggy Flanagan and Dishnakaz, Guababa, Biganikag, Nindunjaba, Mangan, Nindodame. My name is Peggy Flanagan. I'm a member of White Earth and I'm the Wolf Clan. And the role of our clan is to ensure that no one is left behind. Congratulations to all of you for getting to this moment. 
I'm well aware that there's a better than half a chance that you will never remember any of these speeches from your graduation. And I'm cool with that. But I do promise that you will remember the final year of your time here at Morris. Go Cougars. It pushed all of us a lot, in many ways. And in some ways, the only thing I really want to tell you is this, breathe. Really just take a moment. You've probably heard jokes or maybe you have relatives of your own who used to say things like, when I was a kid, and then they tell you how their life was so much harder than yours. Well, think about it. You've got them all beat. Your story will top all of theirs, no matter what. That's what you've done to get here. You have learned and connected through screens, gathered six feet apart, masked and unable to hug one another. You've missed some of the best parts of going to school here in Morris. The best grilled cheese sandwich in the world at Don's Cafe, the Yule Ball, the annual Circle of Nations Indigenous Association powwow. Many of us, including myself, have lost loved ones to COVID-19 during these past 14 months. Time Magazine called this past year the lost year for our students. And yes, it's been hard and confusing and devastating, but this year was not lost. While I am coming to you virtually and can't see your faces, I know each and every one of you is a different person than you were 14 months ago. You grew and learned and changed. And these were hard lessons about loss and sacrifice, about the deep inequities and challenges that we face before, during, and after this pandemic, and about resilience. These lessons will remain with us for the rest of our lives, and your past year will be what students sitting at future commencements will study in their classes. We are so close to the other side of this pandemic, and I hope wherever you go from here, that you don't forget the urgency of this moment. This pandemic has demonstrated that we are all connected to one another in the best ways and the worst ways. Our futures are bound together. That means that when we leave people behind or let them fall through the cracks, all of us are held back. It's not a secret to many of us that Minnesota has some deep inequities along the lines of race and geography. COVID-19 did not create these gaps, it only exposed and exacerbated them. When we talk about, quote, going back to normal, we have to acknowledge that normal wasn't working for everyone. It wasn't working for the students who had to do their homework in parking lots because their access to fast, reliable internet was limited. It wasn't working for those students who balanced their studies with one or more frontline jobs that put them at increased risk for exposure to COVID-19. It wasn't working for Black, Indigenous, and students of color, many of whom face additional barriers to education from the time they are in preschool to their graduation day from college. We might be able to see the end of the pandemic, but there's a long way to go to see the end of these systems, these systems of racism. I don't want to go back to normal. I want to go back to better. And when I say that this year was not lost, I mean that Time passed and we didn't waste it. Maybe you learned to bake bread or marched in the streets for justice or just simply made it through in one piece and survived. That's not lost time. And it won't be a lost year if we make sure that the lessons we've learned in the past year are the focus of our future work. We cannot let the urgent call to fix the gaps that far too many of our family members, friends and neighbors fell through pass us by without action. I hope none of you ever have to endure a pandemic in your lives again, but I also hope that you are able to take with you and the, for the rest of your life, the lessons you've learned here at Morris during this extraordinary time. Some of you will be entrepreneurs. May your businesses become foundations for community where everyone is welcome. Some of you will be change makers in the public or nonprofit sectors. 
May these lessons drive your advocacy to build better conditions for our communities. Some of you will continue into the next part of your educational or research journey. May your curiosity be a driving force for change. Wherever you are, may you build a community around you where everyone is seen and heard and valued and believed, where no one is lost through the cracks. Most of us wish we could be together in person to celebrate this tremendous day, but make memories anyway. I hope to see all of your joyful celebratory graduation photos across social media until it feels like you're surrounded by a crowd of graduates. I hope you still throw your cap in the air, even if it feels a little awkward to do it alone, because hundreds of you are doing the same wherever you are. I hope you will display your diploma with pride, knowing that while your path to this day was difficult, it also had its rewards. Maybe for some of you, first-generation college students or native students, you feel like you found your home and your voice here at Morris. That's great. Don't lose that voice. For some of you, Going to college meant going into a system that wasn't made for you or by you, but now your task is to keep working inside those systems to change them from the inside out. The first time I ever walked into a classroom and I saw a teacher who looked like me, that was in college as an undergrad. Maybe that happened for some of you too. For me, that gave me permission to be my full self, and that'll be the biggest thing for you. Be your full self wherever you are. You are experts in your own lives and don't let anyone take that from you. Don't make yourself small. There are too many people who will try to do it to you. Don't do it to yourself. And remember who you are and where you come from every time you enter a room. Find your vocation. Your occupation might change through the years, but your vocation won't. What's the thing you lose track of time doing? The thing you believe in, the thing that makes you feel whole, that's your vocation. And there are lots of occupations out there where you can pursue that vocation. You might not remember the people who spoke at your graduation, but you can't forget your vocation. It's part of you now. Go live it. Congratulations, University of Minnesota Morris Class of 2021. Thanks to Lieutenant Governor Flanagan for those remarks. The Morris campus was founded on original homelands of the Dakota and Anishinaabe people as a boarding school for American Indian children. From this history, we have grown, and we acknowledge our responsibility to the communities on whose traditional homeland we are located. We are honored to be recognized as one of the nation's American Indian-serving non-tribal institutions, and as the only four-year university in the upper Midwest so designated by the federal government. Today, we recognize all of our graduates, celebrate their accomplishments, and look to their futures with the performance of a Native American honor song for the University of Minnesota Morris Class of 2021. We are honored today by the Northern Wind Singers, an award-winning First Nations drum group from the Ojibwe Nation and Lake of the Woods, Ontario. Gabriel Rosier, a graduate of Morris and member of our faculty, is the lead singer, composer, and keeper of the drum. His work and the music of the Northern Wind Singers is featured in a number of indigenous studies and ethnomusicology texts. An Anishinaabe Moen first speaker and leader in Minnesota's indigenous language revitalization movement, we're proud to have Gabe teaching the language and American Indian cultures at Morris. As you are able, we ask that you please rise and remove your hats and caps for the Northern Wind Singers and an honor song for the class of 2021. Oh! 
Thanks to the Northern Wind Singers for honoring our graduates. We now come to the part of the ceremony you've all been waiting for, conferring degrees upon the members of the graduating class of 2021. Graduates, please collect your name card and diploma cover. And I now invite our academic dean, Janet Shrunk Erickson, along with Math and Science Division Chair Pei Ng to the podium to read the graduates' names. Felicia Galvin, Anthropology, Spanish with Distinction. Elias Alexander Dressler, Anthropology. Hannah Michelle Lindell, Psychology, Sociology. Michelle Susan Kuno, Psychology. Justina Marie Bingham, Human Services General. Allison White, Psychology.
Sophie Poulter, Financial Management. Kyle Matthew Hastings, Sport Management, Secondary Education. Blake Haugen, Biology. Nicholas Dale Peterson, Area of Concentration, Exercise Science. Vaughn Strenke, Management, Financial and Organizational Management, Psychology. Carter Wattenhofer, Management, Statistics. Owen Christian Peterson, Economics, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Matt Lauer, Human Services, Criminal Justice. Elizabeth Rose Graves, Native American and Indigenous Studies, Psychology. Katie Ann Boining, Political Science. Christina Gilbert, Biology, Environmental Science. Jackson Lennox, Mathematics, Physics. Jessica Lynn Bleasy, Elementary Education. Carrie Elizabeth Didier, Elementary Education. Adriana Bebo, Area of Concentration, Exercise Science. Alexander James Boyd, Human Services, Criminal Justice, Philosophy. Madeline Page Fenske, Human Servi Services General. Trinity Joy Erickson, Area of Concentration, Marketing, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Colin Brunette, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Haley Ann Remy, Area of Concentration, Sport and Exercise Psychology. Kayleen Rose Whipple, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Victoria Rose Everson, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Emily Nicole Olson, Biology. Katie Kubat, Sociology Class of 2020. Jackson James Flicker, Political Science Sport Management. Summer Lynn Dobretz, Elementary Education. Morgan Rose Roloff, Elementary Education. Jacob Michael Hyde, Elementary Education, Middle Level Social Studies. Justin A. Sagerhorn, Secondary Education, Social Science, History. Mia G. Frick, Anthropology, History. Catherine Rebecca Sager, Psychology with Distinction. Megan T. Cheetah, 
management, financial and organizational management, sport management. Riley Noel Whiteside, Biology, Psychology. Bailey Jean Cheetah, Biology, Psychology. Victoria Lynn Shones, Biology with Distinction. Samantha K. Tate, English Secondary Education with Distinction. Eleanor R. K. Stenberg, Chemistry. Madison Grimsbow, Theater Arts. Brandy R. Klaus, Latin American Area Studies, Spanish with Distinction. Vanessa Juarez Perez, Chemistry. Nathan Crefall Greer, Statistics with Distinction. Lala Du, Sociology. May Goodrich, Spanish. Clara Claudia Fuentes Cervantes, Biology. Mitchell J. Scanlon, Chemistry with High Distinction. Taylor L. Kolstoff, Art History, Studio Art. Molly Otremba, Art History, Studio Art. Lakeisha M. LaRue, Psychology, Studio Art. Kylie Lauren Aurora Ortiz, Chemistry. Lily L. Gladys, Anthropology. Oh. Alex Carroll, Biology, Environmental Science with high distinction, with honors. Trig Sponheim, Environmental Studies. Kayla Marie Robertson, Communication, Media, and Rhetoric. Andre Fortin, Communication, Media, and Rhetoric. Andrea Rose Glenn, English, Psychology, Secondary Education. Catherine Drake, Biology with High Distinction. Madeline Grace Happ, Political Science with Distinction. Carmen Bistrup, Biology. Allison Bastier, Biology. Taryn D. Longshore, Psychology. Claire Elizabeth Larson, Psychology with Honors English. Elizabeth Ann Melson, Chemistry, Biochemistry with Distinction. Tyler Donnell Kelly, Biology, Psychology with High Distinction. Su Han Wang, Chemistry, Biochemistry with High Distinction. Brandon H. Karstens, Biology. Let's go, Brandon! Eddie George Cease, 
elementary education. <laughs> Bryant White, biology. Courtney Shoyun Swanson, mathematics statistics. Mackenzie Vorderbruggen, Biology with High Distinction. <laughs> Megan Danielle Quast, Biology. <laughs> Emily Whitcup, Chemistry. <laughs> Jordan Philippi, Biology. Nora Lund, English Sport Management. <laughs> Abigail Fountain, Biology Statistics. <laughs> Talitha Caitlin Neitzel, Management Global Business. <laughs> Jeffrey Micah McGurchin, Elementary Education. Aaron Mitchell Korpstein, Computer Science. <laughs> Jia Yang, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. <laughs> Kira and Dali, Biology, Environmental Science. Ryan James Getzmeyer, English. Kajul Benke, Psychology. Ariel L. Cordes, Computer Science Class of 2020. Grace Nicole Cavidra, Psychology. Brevin D. Williams, Sport Management. Vincent John Fontana III, Philosophy, Psychology. Matthew J. DeSmith, Chemistry with Distinction. Matias Ignacio Matamoros, Biology. Madison F. Kugler Hoekstra, History, Secondary Education, Social Science, History. Lydia S. Men, Anthropology, History. Morgan Rachel Matthews, Biology. Kelvin Pierce, Communication, Media, and Rhetoric. Kylie Joy Hansen, Biology. Can you please give our graduates another round one of, one of applause? Congratulations. We still have to make it official. We still have to make it official, so hang on just a second. <laughs> We're especially fortunate to welcome Regent Mike Kenyanya as our commencement regent. Regent Kenyanya serves as a consulting analyst for Accenture PLC in Minneapolis. 
Kenyanya was born in Nairobi, Kenya, and emigrated to Minnesota in 2002. He received a Bachelor of Business Administration in Management Information Systems from the Labovitz School of Business and Economics, University of Minnesota, Duluth. As a student, Kenyanya served two terms as student body president and served on many committees and task forces. He also held roles including resident advisor and student representative to the Board of Regents. It is indeed a pleasure to welcome you, Regent Kenyanya, to our campus today and to the podium now. Good morning, friends. All right, we have to, I don't like the energy here, all right? Um, these guys look like they just remember they have a midterm on Monday, all right? It's your commencement day. Good morning, friends. Good morning. All right, there we go. It's a privilege and honor to be back here at our beautiful Morris campus um, and to celebrate with you all. I wanna, change, uh, I wanna thank uh, Chancellor Baer um, for, for inviting me and um, to, you know, to celebrate with you all. Um, Commencement Day is one of the best days of the year to be able to celebrate your accomplishments with you all. And I think I speak for everyone when I say how proud of you we are. Um, I will keep my remarks short. I don't know what more I could add to what you've learned here over your past few years and what uh, Sam Rosemark and the Lieutenant Governor said. Um, and also I was told that um, it's better to leave your audience before your audience leaves you. So um, to that end, let me offer just three brief points today. Um, first, I want to acknowledge the unique circumstances that you all got through this in. As if the challenges of college were not enough, you, you did this in a pandemic or a panini, as they call it on Twitter. Um, you navigated uncertainties and challenging times while stepping up to do what was asked of you, making personal sacrifices and doing your part to help, help us all be safer and, and help us all be back here actually celebrating your commencement in person. So I want to thank you for all of that. On top of that, this was the same year where our whole society was challenged to continue to close the gap on civil rights and racial equity as we watched the murder of George Floyd right at home and also saw hate crimes against our Asian American uh, fellow Americans rise across the country. Secondly, I want to put a, a misconception to rest, and that's about this whole idea that commencement is about the end. It's the final step, it's you know, your, graduate, your, your college career is over. It's actually not about the end of your college career. It's not about the end of trying to figure out how APAS and grad planner work, the difference between MLA and APA and Chicago and whatnot, or the end of you know, brunch at Don's Cafe with your friends. It's actually about the beginning. See, to commence actually means to begin or to start. I looked it up. Um, <laughs> while we certainly do celebrate the past four years, maybe five, it's okay, we're here to recognize that the rest of your life is actually just about to begin. We all have this collective childlike giddiness um, because we can't wait to see where you go what you do, what lives you impact, what you do with what you learned here, certainly inside the classroom and outside of it, and how you carry forward the Morris way. And, and if you're like, dude, I don't know what I'm doing next, that's okay too. Um, we're, we're here to watch you figure it out, and that's certainly okay. And my third and final point is to give thanks and recognition. While I, earlier I gave you immense credit and, and I uh, tasked you with taking ownership over your accomplishments and hard work, um, I also know that no person is an island, even though it may feel that way at times. Spend some time, right now, seriously, just thinking about who helped you, who challenged you, who encouraged you, who guided you, um, even your haters, you know, they helped you get here, and just think about who you wouldn't have gotten here without, and then thank them. And if you're lucky to still have them around, I suggest you start with your parents, uh, many of who are back there. Can we just give a round of applause for all the parents and people who helped us? Yeah, that guy back there is feeling it. He's like, yeah, you better. Um, but yeah, lastly, I want to welcome you all into the alumni family, and I wish and pray for the very best in your futures. And lastly, I want to challenge you all 
to live a life where every day you ask yourself what Dr. King called life's most persistent and urgent question, which is, what are you doing for others? I'd like to invite everyone here to join me in congratulating the University of Minnesota Morris class of 2021. All right, now we make it official. As you are able, will the graduates please rise? I'm not gonna start till everyone's smiling. Okay, all right, there you go. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Regents of the University of Minnesota, and with the completion of all remaining degree requirements, I now confer upon you the degrees for which you have qualified. Congratulations. Graduates, please move your tassels from right to left to signify that you have earned your degree. You may be seated. It's now my pleasure to introduce John Dallager. John is a graduate of the University of Minnesota Morris's class of 1979 and he serves as president of the University of Minnesota Morris Alumni Association Board. He will welcome our graduates into the Alumni Association. Hello. Hello. My name, My name is John Dallager, and I am the president of the University of Minnesota Morris Alumni Association. I graduated from UMM in 1979 as a political science and speech communication major. My path seemed clear at that point. I went to law school and became a lawyer practicing law for a few years when something strange happened. I went back to graduate school to get my PhD and I became a college professor. My UMM professors, Roland Guyot, John Kearns and Rich Ilka were kind enough to write letters of recommendation on my behalf to get back into graduate school. I mention this because I now believe that it was my experience at UMM that led me to change careers. And it is, has been that experience that has influenced my teaching, my relationship with my students, and my leadership in higher education. Your UMM experience, both in class and out, will no doubt have a lasting positive influence on your life as well. As you move on from this moment, you are now members of the UMM Alumni Association, and I welcome you. I encourage you to stay connected to your alma mater through our many activities, events, and communications. The Alumni Association belongs to you, and you can use it to maintain old connections, create new friendships, network with others in your field, and be involved in many, many UMMAA-sponsored events. On behalf of the University of Minnesota Morris Alumni Association and the Board of Directors, let me conclude with this. As you leave this place and start to change the world, we'll be there with you and for you. Congratulations to the class of 2020 and congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you. So let me add my congratulations to all the graduates and to your families Commencement marks a time of transition. All of you graduates will go on to new and exciting adventures. The University of Minnesota Morris has prepared you to be thoughtful, adaptive, and engaged citizens of your communities and of the world. We know that you are destined for great things, and we hope only that you'll keep us informed of all the fantastic accomplishments that lie ahead for each and every one of you. We ask that the audience please remain at their seats until all the students and the platform party have departed. Once the graduates have recessed, you'll be instructed to leave by row. 
thank you, and um, thanks so much for being with us here today.